corn syrup has no fructose in it. Oh, you don't trust the label and you wish you could make your own? The label is, you know what, I'm not gonna argue. You need amylase to turn this cornstarch into syrup. Not just one amylase, but two. Amylase can begin the breakdown of starch, while glucoamylase generates glucose, the main component of corn syrup. Which means, no, you can't just use one of these and expect this to work. I've already told you, so don't ask. Make a cornstarch slurry and add it to a pot. You should probably use smaller portions. Your starch needs to be hydrated, so boil this until it looks like this. Next, cool to a temperature lower than this. Make an enzyme solution by dissolving a knife tip of both enzymes in a couple tablespoons of water. Give this a stir and keep stirring. Now I stir mine over a stir plate because of course I do. Now this will take some time. I'm talking one to two days. It's time. Once it tastes sweet, it's time to concentrate. It's time. Cook till thick, round two. You can go by temperature, but I go by feel. As my syrup concentrates, so do I. Once cooled, you just made corn syrup. I didn't add sucrose or fructose to this. This is about as close to pure glucose as I have patience for. Can you tell the difference? Well, mine is a fair bit sweeter. Hey, what you up to, Austin? Wow, who knew that?